What's going on guys? We're back here once again with another unboxing video. Guys, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I'm a huge sports fan, but at heart, I'm a UFC fan. I don't spend much money on this stuff, I'll admit to you. It's kind of just a hobby on the side and it's fun filming videos, but I got a freaking Optic Donruss 2022. I, I mean, is it, it's not a, it's not a, Blister, I, I don't even know what it is. All I know is it comes with one autograph per box. I'm literally, by the end of this video, guys, going to be holding in my hands, these hands, a UFC card that is signed. That has been the goal. The goal. I know you guys haven't seen all the videos because I've been slow to post them, but I opened a bunch of UFC cards. And I didn't get a single freaking autograph. And you know what? That devastated me. It really did. It hurt. It hurt. But I knew this Don Russ was coming. And I said, this is my time to shine. So we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open here. Oh, oh my goodness. On average, guys, if we don't get an, an autograph, do you know how pissed I'm being? All right, so there's four, four cards per pack. I think they said there's 20 packs. Was that correct? Yep, 20 packs. Hey, 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 hey. Gang, gang. All right, let's go ahead and open these up. I have no clue what to expect. All I know is I want autographs, and I want a downtown. That is the goal. Oh, these are nice, dude. Holy crap. Is he? For the Pereira days. Al Jermain, OG. Was not a fan of him, but now I am. Patty the Batty Pimblet. Ooh. And a Max Holloway. I do like that one. Here, let's let's toss the Max in a in a sleeve here. Make sure he's secured. You never know. You don't you don't want anything to happen to these bad boys. If I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever opened a Don Russ of any sorts. And I will admit, these, these cards are pretty shiny looking. I'm kind of happy. Oh, all right. So, preface this. I post these videos way after because I'm poor and I gotta record a bunch and then not post them for a while. But, wait, no, that's a beat. Oh my god. Never mind, guys. I thought that was Uncle Iev. Embarrassing. Uncle Iev, Mackenzie Dern, Cheng Sun Jung. And, ooh, Shakvat Rokmanov. Let's go ahead and toss him in the sleeve. I think he deserves a sleeve. Don't you guys agree? I think he deserves a sleeve. He's on an undefeated streak. Man's a beast. He deserves it. Go him. All right, let's keep opening these up. I hope you guys have been enjoying things recently. The channel, UFC fights, card openings, video games, whatever it is. I hope you have been enjoying it. Ooh, Alexander Rakic. He's kind of a beast now, I will admit. Alex Perez. I just remember that figgy fight. The champ. Islam. Mahakjev. Oh, stargazing. Zhang Wei Li. Dude, I, I said... When I saw this pack, I wanted the stargazing card. Because they are freaking sick, dude. And to have Zhang, I personally, because I probably started watching UFC really intensely at the start of COVID, so 2019. She, to me, is like the woman's go. I know Amanda Nunez is the women's go. And the other one is Valentina Shevchenko. But, dude, Wei Li, she's just, she's something else, man. She can kick some butt, take some names, whatever else it is, she can do it. We got Askar Askarov. I don't even know if he's still on the ros roster. Alex Grasso. Tony Ferg. <gasps> Ooh, Khabib, my house. This is Khabib's house. Let's, let's read the back on this one. Saving your words for the octagon, Khabib, the eagle Nurmagomedov. Had plenty to say when he took on rival Conor McGregor at the main event at UFC 229. The Dagestani competitor got the best of his foe at every turn before the submitting him with a neck crank in the fourth round to retain the UFC light. Wait, did I say fourth round? Wow. 
I did not watch that one live, guys. So I would say I knew about UFC's existence when Blockbuster existed. I'd go there and I'd be like, what the fuck is this UFC like 23 thing? And I was like, this dude with the mohawk? What the fuck is this? And then I knew about Connor. Connor kind of introduced me to the UFC and then started 2019. For some reason, I just got super into it. Oh, dude, a Tito. <laughs> Let's go, John Jones. Mozart's Ivolev. Oh, Talia. She she's a prospect. I will admit, she's a prospect, dude. That cause she fought Valentina, didn't she? I'm pretty sure she fought Valentina. I I don't wanna fuck that one up. But I'm like 80% sure. So you know. It is what it is. Just gonna hope I'm right. All right. Benel, the man. Dariush. We got Orge Madge Vidal. Orge. Marvin Vittori. My house. My house is he. Just saying I'm a big. I don't. I. I really. I'm gonna whisper to you. I don't want to disrespect Adesanya, but I'm a huge Pereira. Huge. This is his house. Guys, if I don't get an autograph, do you know how devastated I'd be? Like, I just, please, just give me one autograph. Just one. Might have to buy that memorabilia box. Oh, dude. The Karate Kid. Steven Wonderboy. Vicente Loque. Stipe. Ooh. Holographic My House, Alexander. All right, go ahead and read that description while I grab this pack. That's me replicating what the Sims sound like. Just kidding. All right, I'm gonna sum it up real quick. I have not liked the description at all. Looks like TKO went over Chan Sung Jung. Okay, that's when he beat the, the Korean zombie, which was pretty badass, I will admit. That was a good fight. I enjoyed it. I don't know, since you know, since I started during the COVID era, I wasn't not the biggest Chan Sung Jung fan, but there's no shame against him at all. Like at all. Irene Aldana. Bilal. Is it the answer? I don't know. Chuck Liddell. <gasps> oh shit, dude. Charlie Olives. Let's go. Dude, I'm pretty hyped about this opening. If I, if I can just get one autographed, I will be happy with the money that I spent. But if I do not, I'll be devastated. We got DC, the man, the myth, the legend. It's not the voice. I really want one of those voice cards. We got Rob Vaughn. <gasps> no way. No way, guys. No way. Five of ten? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking. I'm shaking, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Okay, Cara Rosa. Oh, two numbered? Two numbered in one pack? Our first autographed UFC card. Uh, guys, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Just I'm so happy. Oh my god, we got a fucking Chuck Liddell. <laughs> guys, we fucking did it. We fucking did it. <laughs> yes! Alright, alright, let's take our time here. Okay, alright, let's chill out, let's chill out. Five of ten. Whew. UFC fans salivated for the years over the idea of Chuck the Iceman Liddell versus Vitor Belfort. Belfort, sorry. A matchup of two of the game's most fearsome strikers. When it finally went down at UFC 37.5, Liddell proved to have the more precise strikes, better footwork, and point point. Oh my. 
good. Oh my God, guys. I, I'm, I'm just so shook right now. I can't even speak. Pinpoint counters. It all came together for you. UD win. I was going to see now. decision. This autograph is guaranteed. I cannot believe we got a Chuck Liddell signed card. And I'm not even going to let that overthrow the fact that we got a freaking Carl Rosa. Oh my God. Five of 39. This Muay Thai specialist, Carl Rosa, built a reputation as a Superman or Superman, well, Supreme Striker with the lethal combinations and an elite clinch game before arriving in the UFC. Since your UFC, UFC debut, the supremely conditioned Brazil native has also played world class, displayed world class cardio as our first five UFC, UFC fights went all the distance. Guys, I'm I, I can't even talk. I, I I'm speechless. I'm freaking speechless right now. I just, I can't even. I, I'm sh so shocked. Cannot believe we got that. We got Piotr. Piotr Jan. And we got Jan Shaunan. Charlie Olives. Dude, a John Jones Dominator? Hell yeah, let's get a fucking sleeve on that guy. Sleep him up. You best bl sleeve it. Dude, I cannot believe. He he needs to go. Where is he? Dude, we got a freaking Chuck Liddell. I I can't. I can't. The ice man. I'm iced out in my Rari, guys. I'm iced out my Rari. Nate the Man Diaz. Derek the Beast Lewis. BJ the Prodigy Pen. <gasps> Chris Dawkins, Dude, let's go. One of the Dawkins boys. One of the Dockies. All right. I see you. I see you. Let's go ahead and open the next one. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. I cannot even believe it. We got a Connor. Michael Chandler. Michelle Watterson. Look at that red. Dude, are you kidding me? Stargazing Dustin Poirier? That one looks good. That one looks real good. All right, let's see how many packs we got left. So we got... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, well, I know you guys are gonna hate me for it, but I'm gonna end off there so I can make two videos out of this. We got a freaking Chuck Liddell autographed. I cannot even. <sighs> Let's go, boys. See you in the part two. Let's get it. Peace.